Praise the Lord, everyone. There's another excerpt from the book of Bishop Roy Bryant Sr., pastor of the Bible Church of Christ, 1358 Morris Avenue, Bronx, New York, 10456. Uh, also, you can visit the website, the Bible Church of Christ, Inc.org. Inc. is spelled I N C. Uh, visit to purchase uh, books, audios, uh, lessons. And you can go there. Uh, actually, try to contact the bookstore. Uh, I'll probably leave the phone number at the end of the video so you can call also if I remember to do so. Uh, if not, just write underneath the video and remind me if I don't put it on the video. All right? So, on this session, praise God, the music sounds so blessed. On this session, we're going to talk about a very powerful demon. Now, we know that Jesus said in Matthew, the 12th chapter, verse 43, and he's talking about when an unclean spirit goes out of a man, goes to dry places, seeking rest. He said he, uh, when he doesn't find rest, he will return to his house from which he came out of. But he's not going to go back into that house alone. He's going to take back with him seven more demons more wicked than himself. So we know that there are some demons that are stronger. There are some demons that are more powerful. There are some demons that are more wicked than other demons. Sometimes uh, I heard demons refer as other demons that are not as strong as they are as the weakest demon. Say, so, oh, that demon was weak or he was a punk. They call him a punk. You know, with street slang language. You know. So they're not trying to speak formal anyway. They're demons. So they're the dark side anyway. So they say, oh, that punk. He called him a punk. I said, he called him a punk. He said, yeah, that punk gave up. He's a weak demon. He, he, he didn't resist you. He just came right on out. So, um, there are demons that are more stronger, more wicked, more evil, all right, than some other demons. There are ranks of demons. Demons have ranks. I'm going to do a video also on the ranks of demons. I'll also testify how I learned that there are ranks of demons. And how the Lord took me to that level of learning the different ranks of demons. So demons have ranks. If you look in uh, Ephesians, the sixth chapter, it talks about the ruling spirits, uh, principalities, spirit of high places, wickedness, whatnot. Uh, that's another subject. But right now, in my opinion, one of the most wicked demons you probably encounter, demons that do it, witchcraft, voodoo. Sorcery, uh, idol, idol type demons, idolatrous spirits, spirits that are attached to religion, uh, Buddhism, and stuff like that. Those are powerful demons. Of course, brainwashed spirit comes along with, with, with those type of demons or religious spirits, Hinduism, uh, Brahma, uh, Vishnu. I encounter Vishnu. It's an Indian, East Indian religion, Hinduism, and whatnot. So there's some demons that are very powerful, but, but don't be discouraged. No demon is more powerful than Jesus Christ, God Almighty, okay? Jesus conquers them all, okay? So they may protest that they have strength and power and authority, but their strength and power and authority is not greater than the power and strength and authority of God Almighty, Jesus Christ, all right? So the demon of witchcraft, all right? This music is sounding blessed, but uh, I'm going to have to turn it down so we can get into our lesson. All right. All right, this is by Pastor Randolph. This CD was given to me by a friend years ago when I was living in Harlem, New York. All right, so uh, let me turn this off and let us get into our lesson. This will be coming, this lesson will be coming from Manual on Demonology. Diary of an Exorcist. Um, the author is Bishop Roy Bryant Sr., the Bible Church of Christ Incorporation. I always give the address in case someone would like to contact the Bible Church of Christ bookstore or the ministry in order to obtain these books. I will not be teaching from cover to cover. In other words, I will not go from page one through the entire book all the way up to the last page of the book. All right? Because I have many other things to teach and many other topics as the Lord lead me. 
But I will give you from time to time an, ex an ex excerpt of, of a testimony or, uh, or deliverance that the Lord used Bishop Bryant to do, who is my mentor, my first mentor. As I always state, I've learned from other exorcists as well. And that's how the Lord was able to take me to other levels. All right? In demonology. No one man, no man knows it all. No one man knows it all. We learn from others. All right? Now, this is page 175. And the title is called Bled by a Witch Doctor in Haiti. I'm going to read this uh, testimony. This, these are the words. This is from Bishop Bryant's book. The, these are not my words. I'm not going to annotate any further. I'm going to read exactly what's in the book. If you'd like to purchase the book, please contact the Bible Church of Christ. All right, You can go online or Google the Bible Church of Christ, Inc. org, And there's a lot of information on the website of the church ministry. And also you can go to the bookstore section and purchase these books. The books are Manual of Demonology, Diary of an Exorcist by Bishop Roy Bryant Sr., DDD. Uh, also, Who's in Your Body With You, The Written Works of Bishop Roy Bryant Sr., and Satan the Motivator, The Battle Between God and Satan. Also, you can purchase the Demonology Workbook uh, on the website and, and uh, other audios such as uh, Self Deliverance. Bishop is calling out demons on that CD, and you can get deliverance from that CD because I've gotten deliverance from that CD also. And while I'm at it, I remember when I first purchased the self-deliverance tape by Bishop Bryant from the Bible Church of Christ bookstore. I took it home, and I played it. Nothing happened. Nothing manifest. I didn't even yawn. I didn't even cough. And I said I didn't even yawn. A demon didn't even yawn out of me. He's calling out all kinds of spirits. And Bishop said on the end of the tape, if nothing happened, play it over. And I played it again. Nothing happened. So I played it four times. Now, I, I wasn't giving up. I, didn't, I wasn't going to say like some people, but I played it two times already. Nothing happened. Certainly, I'm not going to play it a third time. But I wasn't thinking like that. I'm praying, saying, Lord, if these things are in me, let something come out. In Jesus' name, I give you glory. So I played it the third time. Nothing happened. I played. I prayed again. I played it the fourth time. Then, lo and behold, I started coughing and stuff started coming out of me. And I started yawning back to back. And I said, oh, they're coming out of me. Big yawns. Sometimes they make you yawn so hard that you feel like your jaw going to break. Your jaw overstretched itself. But God didn't let them break your jaw, okay? I call them jaw-breaking demons. All right, they're coming out and you're yawning so long and your mouth wide open. So I call them jaw-breaking demons. All right, so they come out through yawn, gas, flatulence, uh, coughing up, spitting up, coming out of the nose, sound like a person having a sinus drainage, or they just leave your body. Okay, so anyway, that tape is on the Bible Church of Christ website as well. Self, it's called self delivery Also, he has a tape called Exercising Demons from the Home. Okay, he's commanding demon spirits to leave your home so you can sanctify them. If you don't have a pastor, a minister, or someone that know about demons, to, you can sanctify your own home if you got the Holy Spirit and faith in Jesus Christ. You get anointed oil, all right, or pray over some water, and now it becomes holy water. Anything you pray over and sanctify unto the Lord is holy. Okay, so you can sanctify your own home, and you can pray in, for your own home, all right, and drive the demons out yourself. All right. I'm going to do a tape on that as well to illustrate to you how that is done as well. All right, because I've made some of those tapes myself and they all work. All right, Bled by a Witch Doctor in Haiti, page 175. Manual on Demonology, Diary of an Exorcist by Bishop Roy Bryant Sr., pastor and founder of the Bible Church of Christ, 1358 Bronx, uh, 1358 Morris Avenue, Bronx, New York, 10459 is it? Code. 456, I'm sorry, 10456. Now, bled by a witch doctor in Haiti. This is a great, very blessed testimony how God delivered this man who came to Bishop Bryant's uh, service, Sunday afternoon service. Now, a very prominent and distinguished man from a well-to-do family heard about the ministry of the Bible Church of Christ Incorporation and decided to come to the church. He was an Episcopalian priest from Haiti as was his father. As I prayed, I noticed him standing in the back of the church. When I was nearing the end of the prayer line, he got on the line. This is Bishop Ryan speaking. He told me he had been suffering for 21 years from demon oppression. 
This man had been bled by a witch doctor in Haiti. The witch doctor told him that one day he would not stay with him because he would one day be set free. When he got on the prayer line, he did not tell me about the demons within him, just that he had been suffering for 21 years. Not knowing about the demons within him, I laid my hands on his chest and widely spread my hands unaware that there were three marks on his chest in the same spot I laid my hands. Of course, this is Bishop Bryan's testimony. When I prayed, he was slain in the spirit. At the end of the service, he came to my office and said, Bishop Bryan, I would like to speak to you. You don't know what God did for me. He repeated that to me three times. He said, when I spread my hands across his chest, I covered three marks where a witch doctor had bled him and he seen three spirits leave his body. They came out and went right up. He then described to me the witch doctor and how he would work his voodoo on him. He said, I thought this would free me and give me power. I later on realized that it destroyed my life. What do I do now that God has delivered me after 21 years? I told him that he needed the baptism of the Holy Ghost and I would pray for him in our 6.30 p.m. evening service. These are the words of Bishop Bryant. This is from his book, Manual and Demonology, Diary of Exorcist. At the Sunday evening service, he got on the prayer line. When I laid my hands on him, he went down to the floor and turned his side like a rattlesnake. He slithered across the floor, sliding on that one side. I witnessed this in the shelter years ago. Also, I prayed for a young lady. She also had the spirit of witchcraft. And she told me witchcraft was in her family. Her aunt was a witch. And I said, it's in you. You've been around your aunt. She's contaminated you also. And I began to pray for her. And I was calling the team of the witchcraft out. And it's as though I was talking to a brick wall. Nothing manifested. Nothing responded. And this is the first time the Lord taught me to tell a person, teach a person to, to use their faith. Faith without works is dead. Okay. So her faith in operation was when the Lord told me to tell her, I'm going to count to three. When I count to three, you cough the demon of witchcraft out. So she's using her faith now by action. So when I count one, two, three, in the name of Jesus, cough, cough the spirit of witchcraft out, cough. And she coughed, and then the spirit of witchcraft manifested. It was biting at me, clawing at me, spitting, trying to fight me. It was holding the spirit. She got away from the people that were holding her, and she slithered, just like Bishop said happened to him in this book. She slithered on one side of her body like a snake and was making hissing sound. This thing is real, okay? So she slithered on the concrete floor in the women's shelter, Franklin Women's Shelter here in the Bronx, and then all the staff from the women's uh, shelter began to come out and gather around, and it was Quite a crowd. Everybody was spectators. Everybody watching what's happening. This young lady slithering all over the floor. And I made them catch her again and made her stop. I told the demons to go down on her body because they were really manifesting violently. So witchcraft spirits are very violent. So if you're dealing with witchcraft spirit, make sure you're not alone. Make sure you have a, a team working with you in case the demon really act violent, act up, okay? Because it's really going to protest. It's a powerful spirit. It's a powerful demon, witchcraft. It's on the dark, dark side of Satan. Okay? So, I made the demon go down because that was not the appropriate place to cast that demon out. After I saw how the demon had her slithering, sliding all over a concrete floor. Okay? A person can bruise themselves or harm themselves like that. So, we have to use wisdom. Even on carpet sometimes, on very... A sharp carpet if the carpet is not very plush so be careful when you casting out demons and the demon make the person roll all over the floor and bang the head or hurt themselves against something so this is what Bishop was talking about in his book here uh, that the man uh, like slithered like a rattlesnake across the floor slide on that one side and he mean that one side of his body this was the second time in my ministry, says Bishop, that I witnessed a human being moving across the floor like a snake. I have witnessed that also. He said, Bishop Bryant said, I cast the spirit out of him and four years later, I ordained this man as one of our ministers. 
He was totally delivered. Thank God. Amen. All things are possible with God. Whosoever come to him, he will in no wise cast out. Or uh, the word said, no, no wise turn away. Okay, I just read to you an excerpt from Manual on Demonology, Diary of an Exodus by Bishop Roy Bryant Sr. And that which I just read is coming from his book. This is not my experience. The only experience that I mentioned was I, I confirmed what he was saying. I testify that also I dealt with the spirit of witchcraft in the shelter years ago, Franklin Women's Shelter, and the young lady, uh, the demon manifested in the young lady, and she slithered across the floor like a snake. Okay, may the Lord bless you all. Uh, get into demonology, deliverance ministry, uh, try to contact a demonology minister that believes in casting out spirits. Don't let Satan deceive you or fool you and tell you you don't have any spirits in you. Yes, yes we do. My friend, it is so true. If you listen to my tapes and sessions, you will hear me testify over and over how the devil also had me blinded and in the dark concerning demonology. But the Lord God Almighty had opened up my eyes to the truth. And now I see the light. And I'm grateful that the Lord opened my eyes to these things. So see God set people free in the name of Jesus Christ. So God is trying to open up your eyes and your understanding. Alright. Through these videos that I'm making here on Facebook. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus mighty blessed holy name. Amen.